But guys, this was absolutely delightful. Honestly, you need to make this and your guests will be so, so impressed. Look at how it looks once you slice it up. Good. So let's get straight into how I made this Yule log. So I'm starting off with a large mixing bowl and to that I'm going to be adding in four large eggs and 90 grams of caster sugar. Now you can whisk this by hand but I am doing this with an electric whisk because it is very time consuming. So you want to whisk these two ingredients together for around six or seven minutes until your mixture has become very light and fluffy like so. So you want to whisk until you've got this consistency and then to this I'm going to be adding in 50 grams of plain flour, 30 grams of cocoa powder and half a teaspoon of baking powder. Now I'm switching to a spatula and you just want to carefully fold in the ingredients. You want to continue to do this until you can't see any more dry ingredients and you have something that resembles chocolate cake batter like this. It should be super smooth so just keep um, giving it a mix until you have something that looks like this. Now for the baking part I'm using my baking tray that comes with my high sapienti air fry oven. I've lined it with some parchment paper and I'm just going to pop the cake batter into it now. Uh, once it's all in there you just want to level it all out with your spatula, get it right into the corners and try and get it as even as you possibly can. Once you've spread it out, it's also a good idea to just tap the tray on your working surface just to make sure everything is level. And now this is ready to go into your air fryer oven. You can just use a normal oven if you don't have an air fryer oven. And for the settings, I'm going to turn the temperature down to 180 degrees Celsius. And you wanna bake this between eight and nine minutes until the cake is fully done. You don't wanna overcook it. So I did end up leaving this in for nine minutes. So I did increase the time by just a minute and it was perfect at this point. So once you've taken it out, straight away, you wanna add another sheet of parchment paper over the top. You wanna to carefully flip it over and then you want to very, very carefully remove the parchment sheet, which was at the bottom of your cake. Just be super careful because your cake will be steaming hot still. You just wanna remove that. And then we're going to move on to a little tricky bit. It can be quite daunting, but just take your time. So you kind of want to roll the cake. And this is why you need to do it while it's warm, because if you let it cool down, it'll be impossible to roll out. So using that parchment paper, you're just going to roll, roll, roll until you have like a log shape. And then you are going to leave this to cool completely. So around 30 minutes, if you need to leave it for longer, then do that. So in the meantime, we're gonna make some ganache. So I'm starting off with 100 grams of dark chocolate. I've got 100 grams of milk chocolate, then 100 grams of unsalted butter, and also 100 milliliters of double cream. I'm gonna heat this up in the microwave in 30 second intervals until it's nicely melted. And this is what it looked like once everything was nice and melted. It's super smooth now. And next thing you're going to do is pop this into your fridge for around 10 to 15 minutes until it has cooled completely. And now let's make some whipped cream filling. So I'm going to add in around 300 ml of double cream and around a teaspoon of icing sugar. You can add more icing sugar if you want. I didn't want the cream super, super sweet. And you just wanna whisk this until you have stiff peaks. So for two or three minutes and you should have something that looks like this. So just pop this aside and check on your cake. So by this point, my cake had cooled completely. So I'm just going to very carefully unroll it. And as you can see, there are a few cracks in it, but it's nothing too major. So I was fine with that. And now to this, you're just going to add your whipped cream. And again, you wanna spread this out pretty carefully. Um, just spread it out into the edges. Don't go too close to the edge because it'll just end up leaking, but try and get it spread out as evenly as you possibly can. 
and now with the help of the parchment sheet you want to start rolling this back up again so i'm just going to try and do this to show you uh, as clearly as i can but basically i just use the parchment sheet to kind of press against the cake and roll it over i did it in stages so not all at once i gave it a good press and squeeze and then i used the parchment paper again to just keep rolling so you want to continue to do this until you have rolled it up all the way once you have you should have something that looks like this when you get to the end bit just make sure you press it down really well to make sure it stays in that position and doesn't unroll itself so i just gave it a little squeeze and it was pretty much all rolled out so that crack that I um, mentioned at the start is showing, but it's fine because we're gonna cover this up in a second. So I just carefully transferred my log onto a serving board. And now for the best bit, we are going to cover the entire top with the ganache that we made. It has completely cooled down now, so you can start spreading it. And you know me, I'm not great at, you know, decorating anything, but for this bit, you cannot go wrong. You literally drench the whole top and sides in that chocolate ganache and it will just eventually set and it will look great anyway. So I'm just going to add as much ganache as I would like. You can tone it down or you can go crazy with it and it's entirely up to you. So I'm gonna to continue to do that. And once I'm happy with the amount of ganache I've got, I'm just gonna give the whole Yule log a dusting of icing sugar. And that is our Yule log. It's all done now. All we need to do is slice it up and serve it up. And you want to keep this in the fridge when you're not eating it because it does have fresh cream in there. But guys, this was absolutely delightful. Honestly, you need to make this and your guests will be so, so impressed. Look at how it looks once you slice it up. You definitely need to try out this recipe if you are after a dessert for the holidays and let me know how it turns out. And there you go, guys. That is the recipe for how you can make a chocolate Yule log at home. It was honestly quite simple to do. It just required a little bit of waiting time but it was so worth it because it turned out absolutely perfect. So I would love for you to try out this recipe. Let me know down below if you tried it, how it turned out. I will see you really soon in my next video. So take care until then. Bye guys.